In this example, we're going to solve this matrix equation. If you'd like to go ahead and give it a try first, uh, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work the solution together. So here we are with uh, a couple of column matrices. We have this first one's a four by one, and we're gonna subtract five times some matrix C, and we're gonna get another four by one column matrix. So that means that, of course, the dimensions for C must also be four by one. All right, so in order to solve this, we're trying to isolate this C matrix variable. So the first thing it looks like we need to do is subtract this matrix here from both sides of the equation. So we'll go ahead and write this out. So minus this column matrix. So zero, negative nine, negative eight, and five. And so when I do that, I'm going to have negative 5C equals, and of course I'll have this nice column matrix, and the entries will be negative 40 minus zero, so negative 40, 16 minus a negative nine, so when I'm subtracting a negative, it's adding, so 16 and nine make 25, so 27 minus a negative 8, same kind of thing, I'm subtracting the negative, so let's add to give me 35. And finally, 10 minus 5, that'll be 5 right there. Okay, so remember when we're adding or subtracting, uh, we ensure they have the same dimensions, which they did, and then we just add or subtract these corresponding entries. Okay, so this is where we are now. It looks like to finish this up, in order to isolate this C variable all by itself, we need to uh, divide both sides by negative five, or another way to look at this, we need to multiply by negative one-fifth. So when we do that, of course, on the left, these negatives cancel, the fives cancel, and I will have C all by itself, so matrix C equals and the negative one-fifth here is basically just going to be a scalar product here, so scalar multiplication. So I'm going to distribute that through and multiply that negative one-fifth by every single entry in that column matrix. So I'll end up here with uh, C, this column matrix. So multiplication by negative one-fifth, you could think of it as uh, division by negative five, if you like to. So negative 40 divided by negative five. In either case, it's going to be eight for that first entry. 25 times negative one-fifth will be negative five. 35 times negative one-fifth, negative seven. And then five times negative one-fifth will be negative one. So here's the solution then. Uh, for this matrix equation. We have C, which is a column matrix, that if I substituted it back in right here, did scalar multiplication by five, and then subtracted the two matrices, I would indeed get this. So here is that solution once again.